Bright and early Sunday morning, face another day. I've already had a cup of coffee. I'm now onto the cold pressed juice because it's good for me. Tastes delicious. Mm. Okay, we'll do a quick run through the shop so everyone can see what we sell, what we do here. I won't waste a lot of time. We'll go to the front. Okay, well when there's no bars here, this is the way in, as you enter the shop, you've got the pops here on the right, and as I'll show you a bit later on, these are going to be relocated next door, we've got a big empty space here at the moment, but that's probably still a, a month or so away, so they're all our pops, well there's some of the pops, we have others, on this side of the shop is all the gaming, so we've got cabinets full of consoles and games of every every console you can imagine. And the PS2 games. We're selling a lot of PS2s now. I mean, five years ago when we started, you hardly sold a PS2 game, but they're, they're popular again. We've got some box consoles in there. More consoles along here. Walls full of games. Now through the middle, oh, on this side we've got more consoles and more games. These, most of these ones in this cabinet are all new, new sealed stock. And those ones here as well. These are the Wii. These are the Wii, the GameCube, handheld consoles. Heap more games. There's a Game Boy Micro there, it's nice. I picked that up a couple of weeks ago. We've got the DS's here, Game Boys, heap more consoles. And over here, we've got Game Gear, Master System, Mega Drive stuff. This wall's mainly Wii and uh, PS1 and 3s. But everywhere you look we've got things hanging everywhere up above we've got toys hanging more pops these are mainly sport related ones here these cabinets are cards which is only a small select selection at the moment we've got a lot more cards to come out it's just finding the time and the money because I need more cabinets So we'll go back to here, so down the middle, as you come in, this middle section, there's some out of box pops in there. At the moment this cabinet's got a heap of phantom gear. We have some Lego in this one. In here we have a mixture of vintage figures, the Ghostbusters. There's the Hero Quest that I picked up the other day, if you saw that. More Lego. Down the bottom we've got a heap of Zoids. In the boxes. More cars. More toys. Monsters in my pocket, if you remember those. My Little Ponies. Heap of Harry Potter, Skylanders in here. Okay, I'll do this side first. We've got Marvel in here, some Marvel figures, and at the moment these are the all our comics are here. We do have a lot more comics to come out. I'll show you the well. I was going to say storeroom, but I'll show you the big pile of stock we have up the back, which includes a, a large amount of comics. This is the vintage Dinky and Corgi and all that sort of stuff. Now this side of the shop, this is one of the most popular lines, which is the Master of the Universe. So this is all Motu. Oh, there's that delicious juice. I'll just move that. It is what I can look. Sorry manufacturers, it does taste good. 
well the first couple of mouthfuls taste alright, the rest is a struggle. Okay. So here we have the Snake Mountain over there. Of course that's Castle Grayskull. We have a lot of figures. We did have a lot more, but they sell well and they're hard to get now to make any money on them. Because it's just everyone's chasing them. So there's more in here. And these are one of my favourite toy lines. Well, it's, it's the toy line that I relate to. So over here we have more toys, including character Barbies up there. And then we hit the Star Wars, which is also a very popular toy line. As you can imagine, everyone loves the Star Wars stuff. We do have some vintage, but a lot of it's the later stuff. Some vintage figures here. But even these episode one figures, which you couldn't even sell a few years ago, no one wanted them. They're all selling. There's our wall of Marvel. I pulled that out of a skip bin when I was in Sydney buying toys. I was throwing it out. So I, I scored that. Everyone wants to buy it, but I'm just going to leave it. It looks cool sitting on the wall. So this one here is mainly all oh, these figures and board games and all types of stuff. The Frisbee collection is looking a little barren now. Sold a few in the last few weeks. We've sold some Frisbees. A lot of Toy Story. More Star Wars. And that's a cool game. Haunted House. I remember playing that. And it sells for good money now. Someone's been playing with the toy card. Left them all over the floor. More figures in there. And these cabinets here. And just a mixture of there's I mean there's assorted figures in here, some some early stuff, a bit of Doctor Who, some Smurfs in there. I do have a heap of Smurfs. I want to set up a little Smurf village, but who knows when. Okay. I'm all up here, there's there's figures hanging everywhere. I'm going to do a quick run on this side of the cabinets and I'll head next door and give you a look at the music and, and the new area and the, all the stock we have to come out. This is the Ninja Turtle stuff. There's not a lot of vintage stuff left. Again, it's very popular. A little bit of Transformers. The G1 stuff's hard to keep in stock. It sells very quickly. I do have a heap of junkers and parts that will be coming out when we get a little bit more organised. Handheld games, there's one game and watch left. Again, they're very popular. Okay, I'll show you this. I'm sure most people remember Agro <laughs> hanging up there. All right, <sighs> another swig of juice. Mm. We've got puzzles here. This is supposed to be the clean, organized area. <laughs> this is where we're supposed to work and not have stock in the road. But I have a lot of stock in the road. I tend to have a problem buying, as in too much. Got these the other day. These are cool, aren't they? Military telephones. Everywhere. We've got piles of records. Game board games everywhere. It's just crazy, really, isn't it? We get out of here. I'm depressing myself. Okay, we'll go next door. Actually, talking about cards. Down here are folders and folders and boxes of cards, and mainly all inserts. 
There's a heap of Pokemon in Yu-Gi-Oh and Dragon Ball Z. Okay, so as you come into this area, that's the music area. So we have all the records. Most of the stuff here is pop and rock. There's Pink Panther. There you go, buddy. Oh. We just relax and listen to a bit of music. He doesn't talk much, but he's a good listener. All right, I'll leave him to it. Over here. But everyone tries to buy these ones up. The, I've, I had all these sleeves missing the records, or as in that the case of the chili peppers there, the records really warped. So I've kept the sleeves for when I get the records. Everyone wants to buy them. Some Beatles. That's by um, Steve Keen, US artist, who does Beatles well, and other artists. He does other. He does record covers, paintings. This one, we pulled a couple of guitars out of a storage unit and the guitars are terrible. I'll show you the Pink Floyd one in a second. They're signed, there's no paperwork. If they're real they're worth a lot of money, if they're not they're worth nothing but they just look good hanging on the wall. Again everyone tries to buy them. That's the Screaming Jet signed skins. This is a Floyd guitar. I mean, the signatures are comparative. I've, I've looked them, they look, you know, I mean, Roger Waters signed everything, but they're comparative. Are they real? Who knows? They just look good. We've got a heap of stereo gear. Some vintage posters up here. We have a little bit of um, collectibles and antiques left. Not, not many. This whole area here is going to be the new pop area. So eventually you'll walk into this area here. I don't know what, what we're going to call it, but it's going to be covered in pops. So that'll free up that area next door, which will all, then become all action figures. And we have a lot of stock. We, we're not going to run out of stock. And the vintage cigarette packets. They've all been dummied up. There's no smokes in them. There's an old Melbourne star. Original bike. We have posters, we have t shirts on the wall. Over here are all cassettes. Yes, people still buy cassettes, people are still playing cassettes. These are all CDs. They've been hit pretty hard in the last couple of days, it's a big mess. Over here are the 45s, more CDs, record racks, record stands. More stereo gear over here. This one here, I need to get this one sorted. Everyone wants to buy this orange Perspex top in the beauty. More records over here. Some rarer records and signed ones. There's the original Rolling Stones 73 tour program there. There's a Who tour program from 68. The Rolling Stones volume one number three from 967 with the Sergeant Pepper's cover. So over here are all the $10 records. Over here are all the $5 records. We have some, some of the better stuff up on the wall. A lot of Floyd, Zeppelin, and Akadaka on top. We've got a few gaps on the walls. I've been selling a few posters I need to frame a few more up okay I'll give you a quick look oh well, we'll do here first so at the moment so we've got pops in three areas and so eventually yes they'll all be in the one area but these are the music related ones so you've got the albums ZZ Top, Police, Johnny Cash, Queen, Akadaka over here some we sell a lot of Walkmans and Discmans and all that sort of stuff it's still popular original New sealed cassettes, DVD sets. Now this here is the nightmare. I mean, I'd rather have this than not have it, but these are all gaming consoles. 
piles and piles of them. If I can get through here without falling over. So there's just massive amounts. And over here are just toys. I've started going through them, which makes it look a little bit worse. So there's just, they're scattered everywhere. And you've got Rainbow Bright, There's another Rainbow Bright. Toys, toys, toys. They're just everywhere. Tubs and tubs of figures. More over here. All these boxes here are all toys. Dino riders here, sorted toys here. There's posters, there's board games. They have books everywhere. More gaming, more figures. There's turtles, that's the sort of figures there. So the goal is obviously get these sorted, get these out for sale, but the problem is I keep buying too much. Okay, that's what we do, that's what I'm dealing with. We're always buying through the door, we go out, we're going to start doing some garage sales, we're going to film those for you. We do buy storage units, we're going to start filming those for you. Just to give you a general idea of what we do, what we get up to, and just the everyday ins and outs of running this place. So stay tuned for some more videos. I hope to see you soon.